Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to yet another episode of Aziz Drives. And today we're driving the Mercedes-Benz A35. And the A35 is unlike the A45, not trimmed to the AMG performance and it doesn't have the same engine. So the engine from this car comes from the standard A250, so it's called M260L, I guess. The power output, two liter, four cylinder, turbocharged is 306 horsepower and 400 newton meters of torque, which means the car is pretty good in acceleration. It accelerates from zero to 100 in 4.7 seconds, tops out at 250 kph. Positive aspect of the car not being trimmed to a lot of performance and a lot of bar pushed into the engine is that it uses fuel a little bit more moderate than the A45S. So we have a 7.3 liter to 100 kilometers of fuel usage. What the problem though is, is first of all, the price of that car, because with a moderate uh, yeah, package inside and all of the necessary quirks you would like to have on a Mercedes-Benz AMG, it costs about 60,000. This car has been used and still costs 37,000 at Remo Auto with 60,000 kilometers which is uh, a lot of money for such a small car, to be honest. It really is. We are currently driving in uh, comfort mode. So I'll get you through the driving modes. We have comfort, we have, first of all, we have ice mode. Like when it's really icy outside, we have individual, we have comfort, we have sport, we have sport plus. Sport plus turned in now is the hardest setting. You can turn the ESP off completely and you can set the gearbox to uh, a manual gearbox right so uh, shifting only by myself interesting fact is also this has the seven speed mct gearbox so it's not the eight speed that the cla 45 s has okay seven speed which means you don't have the eight gear for an overdrive to save a little bit of fuel still the car should go pretty easy uh, the esp is already turned off that is very good the car has more of a front wheel drive setup kicks in with the all-wheel drive when you need it. So for that, I think we should stop somewhere and check out how this accelerates. Instantly what I can tell is, this does some good pops and bangs. It really does. It's programmed, it does sort of this. But, hey man, hey. Hey man, that is not that is not bad at all. And you can hear the wastegate when you really push it. That is also very nice. Let me check. Bow, bow, bow. That is good. I like that. I like that they put a little bit of this craziness in a four cylinder. I mean, it's necessary. Okay, if you have the AMG badge, it's necessary. And we we're yet to find out if this deserves that badge. I like the wastegate noise though. I, I do like it. I do like the turbo noise that the car produces because I'm more used to Mercedes to be more moderate. And I can tell you, I'm really a fan of the latest generation A45S and CLA45S. We did a whole review on that car and I was absolutely flabbergasted how beautiful that car drove. It was really something else. I was so surprised. And I absolutely loved it, to be perfectly honest. So, uh, ooh, the boost is not bad. The boost is not bad. So let's see if we can stop somewhere there. Man, one thing that is really annoying is, bro, the, I mean, I'm driving the car for 30 minutes now and we just, we just arrived to the right temperature of the gearbox. So that is uh, very strange with those cars, man. The little kids are happy to see cameras, you know. Let's do a 0 to 100. Come on, let's do a 0 to 100, okay? I put it into automatic though for that. Okay! That was 100! Hey, that is solid. Okay, that, that's solid, all right? Let's check if we can put it into uh, what it does with ESP sport mode because I didn't see the launch control activation. Uh, so that wasn't a launch control start. 
But that what, I, what I can tell instantly is it doesn't have the punch like the A45S, really. Comparing it to the A45S, this has a lot less punch. I'm being completely honest with you. It really, you can't say it's the same type of engine and also it's not the same type of drive. The A45S is a much, much, much more aggressive car and much more impressive. So I can see why this is a little bit less expensive. The shifting goes good. The shifts are very good. They're very precise and fast. I like that a lot. That is great. And the pull sort of from 3000 RPMs is also not bad. So it does pull. It's really not bad. Oh God, what is going on here? Horses, man. <laughs> I don't want to provoke that horse with my four-cylinder pops and banks. So uh, get away from me, horse. Okay, time to accelerate a little bit faster. Third gear, let's see what it can do and go. Yeah, the punchiness is really not here, but the throttle response is not bad. The throttle response is not bad and the steering wheel is very hard when you put it into uh, race mode or sport plus mode that we are now. The A45S has a race mode and a drift mode which this car doesn't have. So you don't get all of those fancy gadgets and I can tell. But what I can tell also is that this is very agile. It feels brilliant around those sh uh, narrow corners and it's pretty punchy. So on a pass road, you wouldn't even tell that much of a difference, you know, especially cornering, but the punchiness is next level on the CLA45S. Also on the brakes, maybe I'm imagining it, but uh, the CLA45S felt much, much better. Uh, you might wonder why I compare the CLA45S and the A45S. Well, basically they are the same car, they have the same engine, uh, transmission and so on they are just in a different length okay so I know there is the A class limousine but that is sort of just a, a thing in between it's really not that good let me check what we could do here from 0 to 100 can we engage in launch control let's see hopefully we can all right ESP is set to sport mode left foot on the brake hold right foot on the throttle that's better pow yes that's more like it <laughs> That is not bad, man. So uh, you have to put the car sort of in ESP sport mode, then it engages launch control. That's very good. And I mean, look at it go. That is very good, man. Look at it go. So again, first gear, all right, left foot on the brake, right foot on the throttle. It engages at three and a half thousand RPMs. Ta -ta 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 Pow! Yes! Very good pull, man. Very good pull. I like the launch control on this car. I really do. That is very nice. And the, I mean, AMG has come so far with those gearboxes, man. Before they were, they were, uh, they were a disaster. Okay, up until 2015, they were a complete disaster, especially the old seven gear gearboxes. They were so slow, man. But now they are instant. Duck, duck, next gear in, bam, bam, bam. You can do all of that. All of that silly stuff. The pops and bangs are also nice. I like that. But what I love about those small cars is how beautiful they handle. I mean, 1.5 tons. This is really, really nice. And accelerate out. Shifts pretty good. And you really have to drive it on those narrow corners so you can experience how this car actually performs and especially what it is here for. That is very good. And I like that. That is great. So, uh, to be honest, you know what I think is a little bit sad? I would even consider this car a competitor to the Golf R. I really would. I would say the A35 is the right competition for the Golf R, which is not good for golfs. All right. So the latest one has 333 horsepower. This feels very good and is pretty similar, to be honest. It grips fantastic in the front, especially when you do the launch control pull. Very, very good programmed launch control, to be honest. There's really one competitor and it's the M135i, the latest one, the front wheel drive, the, the 
the car that I wouldn't even consider a BMW but anyway that is the competitor I haven't driven that car but I'm very surprised of this I mean this is really it feels very good let's see shifts happen fantastic duck very nice narrow corners approach a corner full speed all right then brake hard the brakes are great the brakes are great AMG does very good brakes lately that is very very nice they have always done a great job but on this car they feel rock solid look at that but I can tell you instantly this car has absolutely no chance to oversteer whatsoever you can forget about that completely no matter what you do this car will never oversteer no chance absolutely no chance of oversteering whatsoever it understeers a little bit especially in very narrow corners but I expected that so it's okay it's okay when you know how to handle understeering that is really not bad you see that go here in this corner accelerate out wow the shifts are very nice the pops and banks are very nice I like that a lot rock solid man rock solid you know I'm the reason why I'm not a big fan of four cylinders is because they really have to punish those engines and push the turbochargers to the absolute max so that's why I'm not a big fan of four-cylinder sport cars okay and my most favorite four-cylinder of all of them there are two two four-cylinders that I really love it's really the uh, M177 the two-liter uh, four-cylinder engine of of the Mercedes-Benz A45S I think that engine is absolutely incredible especially for the power figures and the second engine that I absolutely love and that I would choose over all the engines because of the sheer emotions that it gives you is the one from the Alfa Romeo 4C that little thing that 1.8 liter was absolutely brilliant in every single regard and I loved it this one it feels good but it doesn't rev that high you know the CLA 45S engine revs up to 7,700 rpms this goes to the next gear at six, six and a half thousand so there's really a lot of emotion missing there it's something very nice about revving a car up to the absolute max this can't do it but it's a solid car for the money would I buy it for 37,000 hell fucking no never in my life all right I would much rather buy an M2, an old one, to be honest. Um, but if you are, if you are someone that likes AMG and you want to have the entrance, this is your last chance. This is the last car. A classes and CLAs are not going to be produced anymore. So that's as far as we can take it. Thank you very much for watching. God bless you. Make sure to check out the exterior and interior review, and see you on the next one. And subscribe and leave a like, man. It really helps out. It pushes the algo and we need the algo to be pushed so I can drive those hypercars, man, and old timers and all of those beautiful machines. All right, goodbye.